Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Tamar Braxton went on Wendy Williams show today and Wendy asked Tamar if she would ever return to the talk show the Real. Now, if you don't know, Tamar was a co-host on The Real some years ago, but she was fired and it was one of the most dramatic stories on daytime TV. Now, for a long time, people blamed the ladies of The Real for getting Tamar fired because Tamar made a very vague statement saying somebody on The Real stabbed her in the back. Now, when she made this statement, everybody assumed that it was her co-host that got her fired, but that wasn't the case. And Tamar never really cleared it up. So she allowed this false narrative to keep going on and on without really telling the truth. But the real has been struggling a little bit since. Oh, Lord, life. ain't that terrible. Lord Jesus. Yeah. Pump them, Lord. <laughs> because at the end of the day, I have to pay attention to why God removed me from that situation. Mm -hmm. And I believe he removed me from that situation to protect me from. Tamar, yes. had there been any controversy leading up to this that would make you think even for a moment that something was wrong? God, no. You know, you're not, you know, fighting with anybody. Me and the girls got along, so I thought. Uh, you and the girls got along, so no, you God, thought. No. Yeah. What do, do now has has anyone given you or Vince a reason for for the firing? No, to be honest. All of a sudden in 2016, you got fired from the show you created. I mean, ain't what? that a blip? What you happened? Know? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can't I can't even give you an explanation because I was never given an explanation. Seem like y'all got along. Have you are you still friends with the ladies of the real or do they contact you? I mean, for me it seemed like we got along. So um when <laughs> we all the <laughs> automatically didn't right. get along that was very hurtful to me and no i haven't seen them since um logan's birthday party after everybody nobody's took contacted pictures. you no would you go back uh no no Zero. i wouldn't Never. well here's the thing i'm i'm moving forward with my life right and bigger and better opportunities have you know come my way um, since since that show right. and i look forward to my own yeah very soon do you have a relationship with any of the ladies uh no but i wish them all well did you, you got fired from i the got real. fired from the real and was it the result of one of the women on the at the table i mean it has been said but um i don't know for sure uh, I know I'm for sure not going to go on a press tour like some other people have. Um, but um, I just, at this point in my life, I'm past that. Right. I wish everybody well. So as you heard, Tamar addressed this situation multiple times. And in all of her interviews, she never really clarified what really happened. She also never stepped up and said, my co-host had nothing to do with me getting fired. She never said that. So the narrative kept going on and on. But this summer, Tamar did apologize to the ladies on The Real. She posted this on her Instagram page. When all you know and felt is hurt, you hurt, self-inflicted, and to others are included. From my sisters, the ladies of The Real, Ianla, old and new friends, and whomever else I've ever hurt from being hurt, please forgive me. I don't know how to show you love. Now I do, thanks to my David, which is her boyfriend. So Tamar basically apologized to all the people she did wrong, including her former co-host. Fast forward to today, Tamar did visit the Wendy Williams show and Wendy asked her about the real and this is what she said. Would you ever go back to the real? I always ask you this. I used to, I, like, I, I, like, like, a cute show, but they need you. Yeah. Just sad. I love you. And, and you were done dirty. I love you. No, you know, we talk about this behind the scenes, but we this have. is an in front of the scenes thing that I would like people to, if you care to expound on it. Well, here is the thing, you know, I, I don't want to be anybody's marketing tool this season, no shade, but you know, I just wish everybody well. And I just feel like sometimes God has to move you out of situations before you become more toxic to yourself. Right. And so what if I was in a situation where I'm doing the Braxton's and it's very stressful and then I'm doing this other show where people are cat being catty behind my back. Like oh. what kind of person would I be right oh. now sitting on this couch? Now you heard Tamar's statements. Once again, she alluded to somebody on the reel 
doing her wrong. And this is the same narrative that she's continuing to perpetuate. And now that I think about it, Tamar could be telling the truth about some cattiness behind the scenes. It's very possible that some of the ladies were talking about Tamar behind her back, but ultimately they weren't the ones responsible for getting her fired from the reel. Now the co-host from the reel did respond and I don't think they should have because Tamar's comments on Wendy did not warrant a response. But I get it, it's a hot story, it's good for ratings, and and also they want to clear up their name. So this is what the ladies of The Real said in response to Wendy and Tamar's interview. Hi, Wendy. First of all, thank you for calling us a cute show. We're also an Emmy winning show. So don't forget that. Too. Um, Tamar Braxton was your guest and we appreciate the fact that you brought us up. Um, I just want to be full disclosure. It's been three years. I don't know why you guys keep talking about this whole situation. Um, We've actually never spoken about it here. Never. No, we never spoke Not about here. it. But what here. happened? What what had happened this summer? Okay, <laughs> was that Tamar Braxton gave us an apology for everything that happened. That these girls on this table had no no issue with doing. Um, since then, that apology has been taken down. Oh. And so it was, I, I, in my humble opinion of trying to be this strong black woman, invited her to come on the show for season six. It was a simple public ask. I did try to call her um, privately. I've been texting her. I get no response. So I just put it out there. The show has reached out to her. Tamar, nobody is trying to use you as a marketing tool, sweetie. We, you apologized to us over the summer, and we just thought to close this loop. That's just what we like, never asked for. Just like what Wendy did yesterday with Nene, you know, to men fists, that's all. That was the intention, and that is it, okay? That's it. So, you are still welcome, my dear, yeah. to come on anytime. It's not a big deal. Seriously, we as black women have to stick together. Yes. We as women have to stick together, okay? It's no cattiness, it's, it's just we need to have you come here so we can close the circle. You apologize, we opened it up to you, and it's still there and it will always be there. We love you, Tamar. You are a powerhouse and we know, you know us, so. Yeah. I've been in the business for over 20 years and my reputation is not one of cattiness. Mm -mm. And I agree with you, Lonnie, it's time. It's time for me to say this. It's time for women of color to stop putting each other down. We already have other people doing that. And more importantly, start uplifting each other, loving each other, and stop creating false narratives. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. It's, it's, it's unfair. It's unfair to, I work hard on my character. Yes. Each and every freaking day. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody who's close to me knows that truth. And what I don't like is that out there. Yeah. You know, that, that, that false, the falseness, the lies and, and, and all of that. And that's all I have to say. You are absolutely right. You know, I think what people don't realize is that when we first started doing the real, all of us had separate um, careers. careers. We have separate. I've been, you know, trying to do comedy for 15 years. Can you imagine? 15 years. I, I finally get a show. And then I was ostracized as the bully, as a person that got another sister fired. That's Can you imagine true. the hurt after 15 years? Why would I do that? Can I just say something just in general? I and think I with didn't social do media. It. I know you didn't do it, Lonnie, but this is the thing I think would happen. This is the reality. We didn't know what was going on, mm -hmm. and there was a post that was made about us first before we could put anything out. And unfortunately, well, a, post, well, a post that insinuated, insinuated that she had been done wrong, wrong by, by us. The Unfor girls. The girls. Unfortunately, in this type of climate, Whenever you respond to that, now no matter what, even if it's the, even if it's the truth, it's gonna come off as being defensive. It's gonna come off as you defending yourself. No, the fact is we had no idea. There was no ill intention. There was no meeting. There was none of that. And I can say that to that one up there. Mm -hmm. So if anybody else believes anything else, yeah. that's on you. And I think that just sounds like such a wild thing to say to somebody. We worked really, really hard to get here. And I always say, if I was at a nine to five office job with my sister, who's my best friend in my entire world, my blood, mm -hmm. 
and my sister sadly got fired, or if I got fired, if I got fired, I know that I know that I know that my sister would probably want to be like, well, do we get up? Do we leave? Do I leave too? And you know what I would tell my sister? You work too hard. Sit your butt down. I'll tell you what not to do later on. And you keep it pushing. And you guys kill it. And you keep, you get what I'm saying? What, you a, with, it had nothing to do with us. And after six years it's of watching contracts. us. It's contracts. And you, yeah, right, I ain't got right. no money. But I wouldn't they make you. But I wouldn't make you no, lose broke. your job yeah. if, God forbid, I lost my yes. job. Tomorrow, the heads of this show that actually make those kinds of decisions said tomorrow, you know what, Adrian isn't what we're looking for anymore. I put this on God. God knows my heart. I would never turn around to you guys and be like, I know y'all did this to me. Yeah. I, I know that I know you guys would be calling like, yo, yeah. what happened? How, and I know that I would tell you guys, keep pushing forward. You guys killed it. Absolutely. This has nothing to do with you. And I know it didn't work out for me. But I know that this show is bigger than the four of us, than the five of us. Mm -hmm. It's for the culture, and it's the fact that this has never been done before. There has never been women of color on a talk show, and that's what it's about. You don't have to agree with everything we say. You don't have to love it, and I always say that. So you heard from the ladies of The Real. That was their response to Tamar. And I do have to add my two cents. The real reason for Tamar getting fired was actually revealed last year. Allegedly, it had something to do with some negotiation conflicts. And Tamar was blindsided by the network and her husband Vince because she did not know the truth until the last minute. And she's not really speaking about it because she already put a narrative out there to protect her image and protect her husband's image. But her getting fired had something to do with her management team, allegedly, because I don't know the fine details, but that is what allegedly happened. And last year, all of the co-hosts went on The Breakfast Club and Lonnie Love did spill some tea. My story is this. She was getting to the point where I was at her house one day. This is after Dancing with the Stars, all this other kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. She looked at me, she said, hey, I want um, to get a, a, a new manager. And I was sitting in her kitchen and she said, you know Rashawn McDonald. Rashawn McDonald is Steve, Steve Harvey's Harvey. ex-manager. Mm -hmm. So she said, you know Rashawn, give me his number. I said, okay, you know, because I think she's a very talented girl. She, we were sitting there and she said, well, what about him? And she pointed out Vince. saying to Vince, because Vince. Vince. Uh -huh. Vince wasn't there, Vince was out the room. Something happened and he knows what happened. But he's trying to save face, I believe, because he knows that something had happened with him and Tamar, either some deal messed up, I don't know. Her sister Tawanda said, Lonnie, I am so sorry this is happening to you. We know you didn't have nothing to do with it. She said, but I'm gonna tell you something. They just did an emergency filming of the Braxton Family Values, and you need to see the episode. I said, what are you talking about? Mm. She said, you just need to see the episode. I was like, what? Mm. The person that worked at WeTV contacted me and said, look, we saw the rough cut of the um, Braxton family values. You are being named, the girls are being named, and Vince is doing the naming. I I sat here and I called my attorney. I said, you got to call WeTV and let them know that if they're naming us, we're going to have to have legal action Definitely. because we had nothing to do with this yeah, defamation 100%. of character. Mm -hmm. So when you look at that WeTV, they turned around and they did an extra cut. Mm -hmm. But if you Google, you can see that there was a blogger that actually saw the rough cut and it says Vince names us saying that we gel this. He names me specifically. And you know why I say he does that? Because I gave her the number of Steve Rashawn Harvey, right? McDonald. Look how that story oh. just so you may not have got So Lonnie is saying that Vince had a vendetta against her because she referred Tamar to another manager. See, Tamar has been trying to get a new manager for some time now. I watched the last season of Tamar and Vince and she had a huge issue with him managing her. She wanted a new manager desperately. And the reason why she wanted a new manager is because she wasn't satisfied with the way Vince was running her career. Not only that, Tamar and Vince had a very strained marriage which eventually led them to getting a divorce. Now, I will say Tamar was wrong in the way that she handled this whole situation because she made a very vague yet accusatory statement 
that put all the ladies from the reel in hot water. She never clarified things and came to the ladies' defense on social media, and she never covered them from being attacked by her fans. So Tamar was definitely in the wrong. And when she finally realized the truth, she probably felt dumb about it and was too prideful to really apologize publicly. But her issue was never really with them. I think she's embarrassed. <laughs> I think that, you know, she knows the truth. And, and this is sucks. the thing. If you don't like us, if you didn't like us, and you thought we had you fired, mm -hmm. why would you want to sit with us when we got all nominated for an Emmy? Mm. I just had to add that little throwback clip in there to give you all some more context, but that's the story. And I will admit, I do miss Tamar a lot on The Real because she gave the show a different type of energy. She added humor, spontaneity, and edginess. She wasn't safe either. She was always very outspoken when it came to the topics. And overall, I thought she was very fun. But I do know that her personality did not always mesh well with the other women at the table. So there was bound to be some conflict. But I do wish Tamar the best. And I also wish the ladies of The Real the best as well. Tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.